At this moment, in the pace car, our colleague Chris Schenkel. Let's join him. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the pace lap here at ND. We're now driving through the short shoot between turns one and two. There are 325 horsepower Buick pace car driven by Jim Garner. In the right seat and standing up now, that is the 1960 winner, Jim Rathman, in radio contact with Chief Steward Tom Benford. This is the last lap that the pace car will be on the track. The parade lap has been completed, and you see the starting grid now for row four, Jimmy Carruthers, Al Unser, and we now get a look at the tremendous crowd that is here today, being enjoyed, of course, by Tony Holman in his 30th year at the Speedway in the back seat with me, along with George Elvis. We watch the millions of dollars of gleaming, screaming machines but and perhaps the largest crowd ever here at MD. Well, we're moments away now from the most exhilarating sound in sports. We'll be back for it in a moment. And now we're near the end of the pace lap, and there in the middle of the front row, that is the 1973 winner, Gordon Jogcock, who had a little trouble getting going with some last-minute in instructions. Now he's ready, and here's Keith Jackson. This, there is a story, I think, that we should develop at this point and get some comments from Jackie Stewart on Poncho Carter, his crew chief and the crew working around the clock since Poncho wrecked his car at the close of carburation tests the other day on Thursday. They have finished repairs on the car at 10 minutes after 8 this morning. He is sitting on the field in his proper position, and the car seems to be functioning all right. He is, however, sitting right in front of a charger, Wally Dallenbach. Dallenbach is in row seven outside. Wayne Carter is in row six outside. And then farther back is another charger in row nine outside, Mario Andretti. And those will be people to watch as they work their way around. For, pa for Pancho Carter, it's really a problem because Pancho Carter's got a, a, a situation where he's never driven this car since he had a very big accident with it in the last few moments of carburation test. And he's never driven this car since. It must be a very nerve-wracking moment. It is obvious to you that it is very hazy on this day for this 59th Indianapolis 500, and there's the man we're talking about, Pancho Carter. The car has not been run at all since it was repaired. He's moving it around quite a bit, as you see, getting the feel of it, heating up the tires and the massive crowd. And horrendous crowd again, if you want to use that particular adjective, but the size of it boggles your mind. Jim Garner bringing the pace car around with Jim Rathman sitting alongside of him. As they come wheeling down, the clue will be as to what action is taken for the pace car. It's coming down off the racetrack and on the pit road. Pat the Dan, the starter now, will hold the flags and watch the field. 